Welcome back to Living It Await. We're in a kitchen talking about a kitchen toolkit. Many of you know that I'm not only the host of Living It Await, but also the host of Sam Choi's in the Kitchen, which, by the way, no better person to bring in when you're talking about a kitchen than, of course, Uncle Sam. Hey, Uncle thank Sam. John. So, always like kitchen toolkit. Oh, thank you. And I always like watching you and Sam Choi's in the Kitchen. Well, you have no choice. You're <laughs> a part of it. Of course. <laughs> okay, so hey, we're talking about things that not everybody has, but could have to make it successful in the kitchen when you're trying to cook. I think on a real serious side, I think sometimes we overbuy things. You know, okay. you, you have way too much stuff in your kitchen. Yeah. Not you, Where you but can't close I'm the just drawer. Saying, well, that too, and then you find yourself seeing things that you don't never use. Okay. And that's why it's important to have things that you're going to use. Okay, every time so you're in the kitchen. Every time you're going to be in the kitchen, you need like stirring things, like to stir. Ta da! Ta-da, right here. Your preference is wood. I like wood. I've always been old school. I'm a wood kind of guy. Okay. You know, I have all wood at my house, but, you know, my sons, my wife, they might use metal or plastic. So stirring, uh, stirring, you know, spatulas, little spoons, yeah, different, medium different, and large spoons. Different sizes. Okay. And then, of course, uh, utensils like tongs and long reach tongs when you're doing hot, you know, hot barbecues. Okay. And then if you're serving a buffet in the house, okay. small tongs to grab things or appetizers right here. Uh, I want to say that the word is buffet. Oh, yeah, but, buffet. But you said buffet? Yeah. That's sorry. okay. You say whatever you want. You're the chef. No, no, no. Okay, so right. we, have, we have large, we have small. And then you got a medium. One right and down then, the middle. And then they also have the tongs that got the rubber coating. Yes, for so pans. You, for pans that are Teflon or other kind of coatings. And Not you know, everybody is as lucky to, as you to have wonderful knives, but uh, a good knife kit is also a must, yes? Well, yeah, and then plus you have to have a container that can organize and keep your knives yeah. safe, okay. but also not taking your edges off okay. every time you put in a block. So bowls. Bowls. For mixing. bowls. Mixing bowls. And yep. you can get a set of mixing bowls. Well, this, at is, most this of is a real nice deluxe one here. Okay. You have the nice covers that fit all. And, uh, you know, bowls are nice because you can store, you can marinate. So this bowl here has a grinding or grating apparatus. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that a right word, apparatus? Uh, I'll go with that. Yes, yeah. we'll go with that. So you have that. Oh, and look, you have a steaming Steamer. basket. Okay, a steaming basket. You got a steaming basket and in And everything here. fits nicely in. It's like those little those little dolls where you keep opening them up and the next one comes out. The little dolls? Yeah, the little dolls. Oh, the Russian dolls. The Russian dolls, that's what I meant. Yeah, so anyway, you got, you know, all these utensils that you can use in here. It also has a rubber pad in there. I so like if, that. if you're doing, a, you know, like a... If you're mixing. What you call that, Bernie sauce. Okay. Or the Eggs Benedict sauce, so bring the whip, bring the whip. So you can just... Do that right there. Okay. Or if you just want to like irritate your guests, you can just make an annoying noise. Okay. okay. Next okay. in the kitchen toolkit. Okay, we have glass bowls, and th this is a uh, um, what you call um, Tupperware. Tupperware brand. Okay. But it's glass. Okay. So again, you know, you have plastic covers. Is there any particular reason why someone would want glass, like say for the microwave, as opposed well, to? Well, if you're doing like a citrus kind of. Uh, marinade or citrus kind of um, dressing, mm -hmm. okay, the acid will eat. It'll eat a plastic, plastic Tupperware, but not a glass right, bowl. Right, not okay. a glass bowl. So you want to, you know, that's, that's just like, uh, you know, if you're doing a nice citrus dressing. So that's, that's your compartment of different sizes okay. that can all shrink down into one. Perfect. You know? I like that. Like the dolly thing. Yes. Again. What about on top of the stove top? Any particular pan? I mean, because I have a lot of pans, and some of them I don't even use. Well, you need a good saute pan, and okay. you can get some out here. Good and saute pan. Yeah. A couple of different sizes. Different size. I think not more than three. Not more than three. And then so. you, you need a, a fish fryer that's going to fry all your fish. Okay. Now, whether it's a, a deep one so you don't get oil all over, okay. or a versatile one where you can do inside the house and outside on your gas cooker out okay. there. So that's important to have. Kind of like a, a utility saute pan or okay. a deep frying pan, but three is max. Okay, three okay. max. Then you need pans that you're going to put things in that are going to go in the oven. And of course, okay. Pyrex baking pans are the ultimate best, right? So you can sear something to rare and finish in this pan and finish in right the in oven. Right in the oven. 
You know, I mean, it goes great when you're building lasagnas or you're making any kind of layered dishes. Right here is the best. Or your famous mac and cheese. If you're not going to make balls and then roll them in panko and then mm -hmm. deep fry them, you've done that, right, John? Yep. So these are really important to have. Again, Sometimes people have way too much of these kind of pans. Okay. And what happens is you start finding you got no room. No room. So it's a real it's a real simple thing, right? The more you get, the more you're gonna stuff. You know what I do? What you do? Put it in my oven. <laughs> <laughs> Important things to have in your kitchen. It's the kitchen toolkit. Thank you, Uncle Sam. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, thanks, John. I think it's a real important part of Living 808 to share this to your million viewers, to let them know that. You know, these are the things you would need in your kitchen, not more, not less. And of course, Sam Choi's In the Kitchen airs every Sunday on KHON at 6.30. I just love Sam Choi. Isn't he good? <laughs> yeah. I was like, Uncle Sam, we need to know a little bit about what people need in their kitchen, and then let's get rid of the other stuff. And then, boom, he just busts out all that stuff. Yeah. So Bust awesome. All that stuff. <laughs> and, and of course, and I know it's a love fest here, but I always thought... And I've known you for many years. You are a funny guy. Oh, you have a great thank sense you. of humor. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, coming up after the break, on the heels of that.